Peter Hug really doesn't like talking about the Fed. In fact, he went all the way to Hong Kong to try and avoid us, but we still found him. Peter, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, you're welcome, Daniela. So the FOMC meeting begins this Tuesday. Peter concludes on Wednesday. What reaction are you expecting uh, from the marketplace? We know that the bond buying program will come to an end. What's next? Well, you know, I think what happens next is really, uh, you know, what signals, if any, the Fed gives after the meeting uh, tomorrow. And, uh, you know, the anticipation is that QE is definitely going to end. Uh, now the question comes in, are they going to give any signals as to when uh, or if they're going to raise interest rates? So, you know, that'll be the next key catalyst for the metals. Peter, we also had some key economic data coming out of the U.S. this morning. Consumer confidence came in at 94.5, which was uh, much better than expected. On the flip side, however, we had durable goods uh, uh, fall 1.3 percent last month uh, when the consensus expected it to increase. So really a mixed bag of data here, Peter. Could this have any impact on the Fed decision Wednesday? Well, you know, I think if you look at what exactly happened today, when you saw the uh, durable goods order come out first, which was much worse than expected, uh, you had the metals pop up. Uh, gold went up almost $8 on the news. Uh, silver popped up about $0.15. Cents. And it went up because, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the guess would be that, you know, with durable goods down, that the Fed is probably going to lay off interest rate hikes probably uh, maybe past mid-2015. So the Fed will have easy monetary policy. That's positive for the metals, and they bounced up. No, 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 no sooner had durable goods come out than consumer confidence comes out, and it's much better than expected. And what happens to the metals? They sell off again. Uh, because now the argument goes, well, consumer confidence is up. They're going to spend. The economy is back on track. Maybe the Fed will raise interest rates sooner than anticipated, which is negative for the metals. So you have the traders caught in this quandary of, are they going to move? Are they not going to move? So they're going to really carefully look at the verbiage that comes out of the Fed tomorrow. And, you know, I'm really going to be interested to see if the Fed says anything about the global economic picture as opposed to just keeping the statement relative to the U.S. economic recovery. And you almost beat me to the next question, Peter, because I just want to stress that, yes, indeed, everyone will really be paying close attention to the language the Fed will be using. But what do you think would be the main reason that the Fed is holding off on hiking rates, Peter? Is it Europe? Absolutely. Well, I, th I think the Fed has to take the bigger picture into play here. I mean, uh, uh, you know, they're obviously concerned about the U.S. economy. And uh, right now, the U.S. economy has got some traction. Uh, they don't want to derail that by being premature in an interest rate increase. But at the same time, they've got to be careful on a global basis. Uh, you know, if they start raising interest rates prematurely and Europe and Japan continue in their quagmire of deflation, uh, you're going to have a super strong dollar, which may not be in the interest of the United States, uh, you know, as the export side of the U.S. economy will basically just fall apart. So I think the Fed is going to have to be somewhat sensitive, not only to the needs within the U.S. economy, but also global needs. And I think that's going to hold their trigger back a little, at least until we see some signs that the European economy is starting to grow and, you know, and Japan is starting to come out of their, uh, you know, almost 20-year deflation or 30-year deflation right now. So I do think the Fed will be looking at that. I just want to see if they put it in their verbiage. Peter, I know it's late in Hong Kong, so I'll let you go now. But first and finally, just some thoughts on the gold market. Yeah, I mean, tomorrow is going to be the key. I mean, if the Fed says, look, uh, uh, I personally think the Fed's not going to say anything. I think they'll end QE. Uh, they'll say they're going to be data dependent going forward, which I think will be slightly bearish for the metals. If, however, they tie raising interest rates to some semblance of growth showing signs in Europe and Japan, if they tie part of their decision to that as opposed to just U.S. inflation and U.S. employment rates, uh, I think that signals that the Fed is going to have an easy monetary policy probably till the end of 2015, and I think that could be the catalyst that could send the metals higher. Peter, thanks so much for joining us. Okay, take care. And thanks for watching. For Pete's sake, we'll see you on Wednesday.